What's up guys, Kevin here, back with another video. Today I have a pretty exciting collaboration to talk about. I'm gonna be doing a quick review of the Heart Copy and Adidas BW Army. These just dropped on Heart Copy's website, like I think one week or two weeks ago. Uh, it was a very, very like limited drop. They had two different drops and it was fairly small because I believe most of the pairs, if not all the pairs, were actually just a, like sample pairs. So there weren't a lot of pairs to go around. But, like luckily I was able to get like access from like hard copy to grab a pair. Uh, they came really quickly. I believe retail was around 150 after shipping. And here the pair is the BW Army by Heart Copy. So first let's talk about what Heart Copy is. Heart Copy is an Instagram editorial page focused around looking at both upcoming and archive pairs of shoes. They curate some of the best minimalist posts on Instagram as of late and I'm just very excited for their first collaboration with Adidas. The model chosen for this collaboration again is the BW Army which is pretty emblematic of what Heart Copy seeks to do with their page. The BW Army is an archival model that inspired numerous spin-offs from uh, the, the Mason Margiela German Army Trainer to even Adidas' own Samba. BW stands for Bundewehr, which is a literal translation of the German Armed Forces and again a further translation of that would be the German Army Trainer. A quick small snippet of the history of the BW Army. The Dassel brothers formed a family footwear business in the 40s, uh, but ultimately the family broke apart because of the two sons, uh, like Rudolf and Adolf Dassler. Both brothers founded their own competing companies, which created the Adidas and the Puma, I guess, rivalry. The BW Army comes into the picture during the 1970s when the West German Armed Forces were looking to contract and manufacture for some of their military gear and their training gear. Both Adidas and Puma were embroiled in a heated competition behind the scenes for the contract, and there were some prototypes from Puma's end, uh, which kind of indicated that they're the initial, I guess, uh, like producers of the German Army Trainer. But Puma, I think a few years after initially producing it, they came out and said that they were not the producers of the West German military gear, and Adidas was actually the ones that came out and said that they were the ones producing the German like army trainer. So where does hard copy really sort of fit into the story of the BW army? With all of the drama that comes with the inception of the BW army, this is actually a pretty understated, very minimal shoe uh, with very, very clean limes, very minimal paneling on the shoe. And there's essentially no Adidas branding except for pretty much the sole of it, but even the sole of it, it's very, it's tonal and it's very, very minimal. Again, there's no three stripes branding really pretty much like anywhere on the shoe. Now where I think this shoe shines is really the staying power as well as the influence that this pair has had. Uh, in recent years, the, the Margiela German Army Trainer has skyrocketed in popularity. A lot of people love it as their daily simple pair of shoes to wear, as well as the popularity of the Adidas Samba, which is sort of like a very close cousin, like if anything, the, the offspring of the German Army Trainer, except with just the Adidas branding. I think the BW Army is really the grandfather of a lot of these minimal trainer leather sneakers. So in 2017, Adidas did do a retro of the BW Army for the first time. Well, not the first time, but the first time with a lot of Adidas branding for the modern audience. And I had that retro. It was pretty terrible. The leather quality was really, really bad. The tongue was very, it was very stiff, no padding. And just like overall, it wasn't a very comfortable experience. So I ended up returning my pair. And that wasn't a great introduction to the BW Army. I've since then, I think I've purchased like multiple German army trainers from Margiela, those were a lot better experience. Um, and then now comes the hard copy BW army. And I think this is a far better, it's a greater like elevation and really blends that almost like luxury feel while also retaining some of its sport training utility, uh, like identity. So a few key visual and I guess material differences between the GR colorway and the heart copy BW Army 
is one, the leather quality on this pair is much, much greater than the GR colors. If I remember correctly, I believe size and a few other uh, places have done sort of like their own collaborative retro of the BW Army. I believe size has like one that's a brown and an olive pair. Those both look great, but those were size exclusive. Uh, but for the hard copy, it's definitely more of like that, like almost like elevated take where the leather is really, really plush. The new buck on the T toe, very, very nice, very smooth. Um, another thing to note is that the tongue is a lot better padded on this pair. No branding on the tongue, very, very minimal, as well as they kept the tongue raw to give it sort of that same like archival feeling. Uh, the laces on these are a lot thicker, much, much nicer, much denser. Uh, it feels like almost like a hundred percent cotton lace instead of like that cotton poly that you find on a lot of GR Sambas, uh, like Gazelles, etc. Very, very nice. It comes with a cream pair laced up as well as a light gray color. Here are the spare pair of laces. So it definitely is like a light gray off-white sort of upper. Here's the light gray laces and it comes laced up in the cream laces uh, but yeah it's it's a terrific terrific everyday sort of daily sort of shoe a few other quality of life differences that this shoe has is again the leather lining makes it a lot more comfortable more padding on the ankle more padding on the tongue and the insole of the shoe is much much thicker than what you would find it's quite quite substantial actually and it is a leather topped insole but the insole does make quite a big difference, much more comfortable in my opinion, way more comfortable. So another part that I'm actually really, really impressed with Heart Copy and Adidas is the subtlety of the branding and how effective it is. So with Heart Copy, their branding is Heart Copy, but it's also the autocorrect sort of red underline that they have underneath the Heart Copy. And Branding is shown on this eye stay with this red embroidered sort of stitching as well as on the other pair, it's shown on the T toe area. And I thought, one, it's great that they are altern alternating, if that's the correct way, where the left shoe has it on the T toe, the right shoe has it on the eye stay. So I think it really creates like a cool, unique, sort of each pair uh, big 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 fan of it another key difference that i think shows for their branding is just how simple they're able to keep the rest of the shoe so it's a normal german army trainer bw army but that little bit of red that hit of red really does make it like it like grabs your eye and kind of forces you to like look at it where if you know you know type of thing where that's like that's the hard copy bw army or is it like is it just a normal BW Army or is it something else? So I really do like that sort of low key look of it. Uh, I went a size eight, so I'm normally an eight and a half in Sambas. I went a size eight in this. Uh, these fit great. And another note is that, again, like I mentioned, uh, these came in all sort of sample Adidas Originals box. So this came in like a sample box, sample tag. The style code of this is IE. 6271 uh, these were manufactured at the last quarter of 2023 uh, so i don't know if there are more pairs of the bw army coming out or if they are moving on to another silhouette but i'm i'm very very happy to have this pair in my collection this is pretty much the only pair that i've picked up this year just flat out i think this was like something that I really couldn't pass up on. Great, great shoe. Um, I will be getting a lot of wear in this. I'm not planning on saving it or storing it or anything like that, but yeah. So let me know what you guys think. The resale prices right now are quite crazy because there aren't a lot of pairs on the market. I personally, if you were, if you had the money for it, I would not pay resale. I would just either wait for another hard copy drop hopefully they drop something like this or adjacent to it or i hope that they restock in any way or again just get a normal like margella like german army trainer i think the quality of that is going to be much nicer especially if you're going to try and pay resale which is around like 
300, 400 euros for some sizes, even more for others, I would recommend just, or maybe even just get the size collaboration or just get some of, get like a high quality Adidas Samba. I know that Adidas just had a, so I know that Adidas just had their, their consortium and this pair, which is the Cassina Samba, great, great pair. Like you can pick up something like this from their round of 16. They did all Sambas or all Gazelles. Um, you can pick up something of quality for like $120 like this instead of paying like resale. Again, I know that they're not exactly the same silhouette, but very similar. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back soon with more videos. Thank you guys. Happy 2024. Peace.